Welcome to the C.S. Joseph Podcast. I'm your host, yours truly, C.S. Joseph, and today we're continuing on our series of Acolyte questions from our Acolyte users. And uh, we got a fantastic uh, question here. Uh, just a reminder to some of you, though, that our Acolytes, remember, it's one question a month, and I see some of you guys are doing some double submissions. So please be aware of that. If you submit two different questions, I'll just randomly pick one, and you're probably going to have to save your question for the next month, and you'll have to resubmit it. So please be aware of that. And by the way, folks, if you want your questions, your burning questions answered, I will answer those questions if you become an Acolyte member. You can do that at csjoseph.life forward slash members or csjoseph.life forward slash portal. But you have to first become a journeyman member, and then you upgrade your account to an Acolyte level in order to unlock the ability to ask these questions, and then I will turn them into podcasts podcast episodes and post them on the internet so everybody can benefit from the answer. So everyone wins. Uh, but anyway, uh, with that being said, let's get down to the question. And the question comes from, uh, it is an INFP related uh, question. And this is asked by an INFP. And the question is, quote, how do mask or what do uh, masculine INFPs look like? And how can I as an INFP develop my masculine traits? I'd say probably the most masculine INFP out there is probably Keanu Reeves. I think I think you could use him as a role model in terms of a masculine INFP. But let's actually break it down. Let's actually uh, break it down and go in a little bit deeper in terms of how they can be masculine. So first of all, regardless of type, regardless of type, what is um, oh dang, is my microphone gain? really up let me uh let me reduce that just slightly might be yelling a little too much into the microphone let me uh okay maybe that's better okay all right i don't mean to make it too big if that's the case sometimes i like start yelling at the microphone because i get you know overly excited like jinx from league of legends um so because she's an entp as well uh so yeah so what is like the main source of masculinity for a man, regardless of type? And that literally is the concept of putting self above tribe, it is putting yourself above everybody else in your life. You are the sun within your solar system. The solar system is your life and everything in your life orbits you. You do not orbit anybody. That is literally the difference, okay? That is literally what that means. So please, uh, keep that in mind. You know, that's really important to understand. Uh, so if you're not putting yourself, if you're if you're like orbiting somebody else, you're not being masculine as an INFP. And so as an INFP, you need to at least have the whole self above tribe thing figured out. Uh, that and that you are making yourself the highest priority compared to everybody else in your life. That's just that's just how it is, which is pretty easy to do for an FI hero. The thing is, is that you also need to make sure that you're taking care of your needs at the same time. And then also understanding that your wants should not be getting in the way either. Because INFPs are at risk of committing idolatry and being really gluttonous because they have an SI child and get stuck in their own ways. And that can be a huge problem too. But again, like a masculine INFP, like they're really just this person that puts themselves above everyone else because they recognize that only, only they can rely on themselves. So a masculine INFP is a very self-reliant INFP with a wide variety of skills. An INFP, for example, that is actually capable of living in the wild by themselves. That would be a masculine INFP. Uh, an INFP who just isn't scared of doing new things and just forces themselves to do new things and force themselves to get out of their comfort zone, even if they're not wanted, even if it loses status, etc. That's mega important as well. They're willing to take those risks and those risks need to come from expert or introvert intuition critic, a risky INFP. But most INFPs out there play it safe and the ones that do, well, they're pretty beta. It's the INFPs who are all about taking risks. That's what matters. Apparently, my son just hurt himself. He's uh, learning how to walk right now, so sometimes he takes a tumble. So how can I, as an INFP, develop my masculine traits? Well, again, just make sure that you're making yourself your own mental point of origin. Make sure that you're putting yourself above everybody else in your life, and you always do. Like, for example, if you're going to go to the store and buy yourself something, buy yourself something. Don't buy your girlfriend anything. Just buy, buy it for yourself in front of her because that'll just make her want you more. You see what I'm saying? Don't orbit her. She orbits you. You know, you're not, you know, and, and this is one thing like masculine men understand. Masculine men understand that, you know, women, you know, especially like 
biblically speaking, women were made for men, not the other way around. And women are to live your life. You are not to live the life of your woman. You do not orbit your woman. She orbits you. She is in your life. You are not in hers. And she needs to understand that she is in your life and you are not in hers. And that's a mega, mega important thing, which means if you're going to do something, she's going to follow. And if she doesn't follow, then she should not be a woman in your life. Or you just downgrade her to like side action or downgrade her to mistress because that does not a wife make. So that's not wife material is my point. But in order to make yourself husband material, you got to put yourself above everybody else. And it's a form of responsible selfishness and not allow yourself to be guilted by people in your family or in society to tell you that you're bad because you're not taking care of number one, because a real masculine man realizes no one actually gives a damn about you or anyone uh, other than themselves anyway. So you have to watch out for number one. And I get that you're very affiliative INFPs, like in a serious big way, a triple affiliative. But the reality of the situation is you need to learn how to use your ISTP super ego's form of pragmatism and realize that as affiliative and interdependent as you are, no one actually cares about you. No one really truly wants to be on your team. No one really does, especially women. Because, you know, women, 80% of marriages in the United States are, uh, are, are dissolved by women. Okay, so like divorce rates, what, 60% nowadays? And of those divorces, 80% of those divorces are initiated by women. So congratulations, INFPs, you played yourselves. So I suggest you don't do that and you go into a completely different direction and don't allow uh, your life to uh, be in that uh, particular situation anymore. And you go out of your way to uh, develop yourself and look out for number one because that's really all you actually can do. Here's another thing, like, you know, another example of you being masculine is that women come to you. They come to you, you don't go to women. If you are going after a woman, you're being beta. You know, men that chase women, they're kind of beta. The men that women seek, those are the real masculine men. And you yourself, all you have to do, if you wanna make yourself attractive, you just do things. Do things, have rituals, have uh, go buy yourself a dessert at your favorite restaurant once a week or something, or go skiing by yourself constantly. Just go do things for yourself because it's something you enjoy doing. Don't do it because, you know, for women, don't do it for them at all. And then they'll naturally come to you because you're creating gravitas through expert intuition parent to begin with. That is what would make you more masculine. So why not keep doing it? You see what I'm saying? So again, it's all about try. It's all about self about tribe. Women have to do the opposite. Female INFPs to develop your feminine traits. You have to be willing to put others above you. You have to put tribe above self. That is the key to uh, being feminine, and it's the opposite, which is the key to being masculine. So, I highly, highly recommend you guys check that out and you come to that uh, understanding as soon as possible. So. Anyway, folks, hopefully this answered your question. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, And actually, I want to make another statement. Uh, ESTJ subconscious as well. Um, As much as you as an INFP, like the, the number one way for like your type, you know, regardless of like the human nurture piece, but like really go out of your way to develop your TE inferior. So read books, read books as much as possible, read nonfiction as much as possible, and then actually apply what you read to your life so you gain life experience with it. And then with your introverted sensing child, use it to gather as much experiences and put in as much work and effort and have an actual work ethic. Because the more effort you put into yourself, the more attractive you become via cognitive access with your extroverted intuition, which means you are making yourself more masculine. So again, effort is the path to masculinity. And one of the ways that you can spend your effort is by reading and developing your expert thinking uh, inferior and turning into an aspirational. So, but yeah. Anyway, folks, hopefully this answered your question. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys tonight. You stole my heart of gold After my silver soul Can you dig any deeper now? I gave 